We've had to start using makeup on our legs because we have lots of cuts and bruises. We conceal pimples and also our legs. We are more sensitive about our legs than our faces. And this is what Yui of Korean pop group Girls Generation admitted to recently when the girls toured Japan. Also known as Beautiful Legs, the nine-member group is one of the hottest acts around. They've had to keep up with the high expectations of their fans and their prized possessions, their legs. Have to be kept in tip-top condition. First, there were shrinking hemlines, so it's not surprising that the focus is now on beautiful legs. So, how do we mere mortals cope with this trend? Let's ask the makeup experts at Makeup Forever. And the first thing we learned: how to conceal imperfections. For that, we enlisted the help of pole dancing babe Kate, who, thanks to her hobby, has suffered a number of cuts and bruises, as well as 17-year-old Nikki. A new paper, new face, 2010 contestant who now models and hates the sandfly bite scars on her legs. Okay, first of all, it's really important to make sure that the skin to be applied uh, is free from any moisturizers or sunblock. This product will only uh, melt down the product and then it will melt away. So nothing on the skin. Now, tip number two, very very important, is to get the exact color of the concealer. Uh, it's it's not a good idea to get one color lighter, and it's not also a good idea to get one color darker. So, I'm doing a test right now. I think it's exactly the same color. Now, to be precise, I'm using a brush. Um, the application is the same like applying makeup. The whole idea is to conceal. So we're going to tap, and I have some of the product already transferred onto my hand, and I'm just. Tapping until I cut. So I have two layers now. I'm applying a thick third layer. And now I'm going to apply some powder over it. Okay, powder. So these are the most famous powder. This are uh, the powder foundation. It has also high pigments and it has a better staying power than a normal loose powder. So again, I am tapping. And after I have tapped, I just do a rub to even up all over. So there you go. And the powder has got some reflective uh, ingredients, so it reflects light. So when you're going clubbing with the spotlight, you really look like you have flawless skin. Yes, definitely helpful if you want to wear a short skirt on a hot date. So would Kate, who does not want to give up her passion for pole dancing, try this out at all? People would think that I, I, I'm like, there's some guy in my life who needs to get out of my life. Abusive so. <laughs> relationship. <laughs> yeah, but, um, well, it's not, I have no one abusive in my life, it's just, so after a while, you know, you go for classes every single week, sometimes two to three times a week. The bruises just keep coming on and on and on. Yeah, like business events, functions, and you don't want to have people asking you about your bru bruises, then yes, I would do it. And the technique seemed to work on covering up sandfly bite scars on 17-year-old New Paper New Face contestant Nikki too. But stay tuned, because in the next clip, Lisa shows us a few ways to make our legs look more slim and toned with makeup. 